Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a way we can use spark lines and multiple types of conditional formatting to quickly and more accurately analyze data, sales data or other data, um, rather than just looking at the numbers. So here's an example. We have uh, nine salespeople here with sales by month for each of, uh, for last year. And uh, we're going to take a look and uh, the first thing we're going to do is highlight this data and go to conditional formatting and we're going to add data bars to it. So we're going to put data bars in red and by doing so we can quickly see Fred visually had the highest amount and it looks like Jane probably had the lowest. Um, looks like maybe she was tied but when you glance at the numbers in combination with the data bars you're able to see that um, uh, Jane had the lowest number there. Now the next thing we can do is again highlight that same group and go to conditional formatting and add an icon set and I'm going to add this four arrow icon set here and doing that clicking off of there now we see that Fred was all by himself with the green arrow pointing up but we can see that Lisa, Arnold and Tammy were very close together in second place um, and the uh, other few uh, were not that far apart in third or at the bottom. So again, adding data bars and icon sets gives you a real quick view of how the salespeople were grouped together in terms of their performance. But the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add spark lines. Spark lines can be located uh, on the insert tab in the spark lines group, and we're going to add the line spark lines. The data range comes up and we're going to highlight this area here because that's the area we want to analyze and we're going to locate those right in column P here. Highlight that, click OK and now just to make it a little easier to see we're going to expand that out and probably would make it a little bit better if we increase the height of the rows a bit now let's see what this is telling us not only do we see that Fred still is number one Tony although he was in the bottom group you can see <clears throat> he had a very strong second half while Fred the number one struggled in the second half and you can also see that Karen although mixed in with a few others in the bottom group really struggled the second half of the year so now when you take three different types of conditional formatting or two types of conditional formatting plus spark lines you're able to more granularly analyze the data and see what's going on with your team rather than just looking at the raw numbers and there you have it using combination tools in Excel to analyze your data hope you liked it hope you find it useful and if you'd like to see more please feel free to go to my website excel-bytes.com and I hope you subscribe Happy excelling.